Welcome everyone, I am Tagnivorous and this is my first official video on the new Kira 5 beta. I have tons of Kira content and have several videos on the subject planned between now and when they release the full version, so be sure to lower your z-axis right onto that subscribe button and give that bell icon a good first layer squish. Today's video is all about the new engine in Kira 5. It's basically been rebuilt from the ground up. So while plugin developers may be disappointed that their extensions will need to be updated before they'll work with the new engine, all of Kira's features from previous versions and their functionality are still there. Today we're going to talk about the new pathing engine and how it uses the Kira devs are calling a variable line width printing strategy. That gives you the ability to go extremely small for an FDM machine and keep the details to a certain point. This is done by adjusting pressure and flow on the nozzle while printing, causing the extrusion line width to increase or decrease and allowing you to print at larger and smaller line widths than your nozzle diameter. All of the prints you see in this video were done with Kira 5 on an Ender 3 original with a 0.4mm nozzle. While a smaller nozzle may allow for more detail at these tiny sizes, they are impressive for this setup for sure. So let's take a look at some of the results from these tests, shall we? First, we start with the Benchy. Everyone knows Benchy, right? During the Ultimaker showcase where they released the beta, I was shocked to see that they printed a Benchy at 10% scale. I was even more shocked when you could actually tell it was a Benchy, so naturally, I had to try it. Here are my results from the Benchy test at 50%, 25%, 15%, and 10%. Now, it's not perfect, but damn, it's pretty fine for such a little guy. This got me thinking, I wonder if I could shrink some moving parts, so cue the 50% octopus. I did try this smaller, but the parts began to fuse at smaller scales than half. This one works and articulates well, surprisingly, so let's try the predator action pliers. I tried them at 20%, 30%, and 50%. At 30%, it actually worked after some finesse with a razor blade to loosen the pieces, but the parts were unfortunately too thin in places from being printed so small. The 50% took less work to get moving and stayed together longer, but again, the thin pieces are weak. So moving on from moving parts, what else might this be useful for? Well, I know a lot of 3D printers print miniatures for tabletop games, so I thought I'd give it a go only minier. This is a 28mm mage, and this is 50% of that. This guy is 10% of that, and I'm so impressed that you can still tell what it is, but not just that. It's not just decent for something so small, it's actually pretty good. And the last piece I did, I thought I would shrink down a large bust and see what was retained for detail. And This is a well-known Deadpool model by Eastman 3D, and in this case, I hit 25%. Any lower, and the fine details and thin spots on the sword began to get skipped, but at 25% scale, the detail retained using Kira 5 is amazing. So today we learned we are now able to reduce the size of models by at least half in Kira 5 and in some cases by as much as 90%. Awesome! I hope you enjoyed my tiny creations and I gotta get back to work now. I have a lot more tests to run and several more videos on Kira 5 to come. So make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell, that way you don't miss any of them. Take Nivorous out!